It's the end of the weekend But I still wanna turn up Yeah, I still wanna turn up What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lorna Marie. Today for you, I'm bringing you what's in my pool bag. I am so excited for this video because I, first of all, love this bag. And second of all, there are so many things in here. I do have a video on my channel of my original one and it is still an amazing video. Honestly, when I watched it, I was like, I really can't make this better. It's just different. So if you guys wanna see that one, I will link it down below and up above for you. And if you guys are not following me on Instagram, definitely follow me over there. I do a lot of things that I may not do over here. And without further ado, if you guys want to see what's inside my pool bag, then just keep watching. Hi, you guys. How's it going? So today, first of all, you know, I want to talk about the bag. I got this off of Amazon. This is a big bad boy. It's a little on the floppier side, okay? So that's why the way that I organize it keeps it a little more structured, which I'm a more structured bag type of girl. The way that it was stitched together also offers a little bit of support. It reminds me of Gucci. It is not a dupe. They don't have a Gucci bag that looks like this, but I just love like the red and green stripe. I think it looks super classic and adorable. And then inside, you guys know your girl always gives you the aerial shots. I will be getting close-ups of everything but I have all my stuff organized and I'm gonna show you guys what's inside. The first most important thing is this bag. I have one on my old video, very similar to this, but I've upgraded. Look at this, so cute. I love this bag so much. It's got some clasp here and it has a handle. It's like black um, snake print and no snakes were injured in the making of this bag. <laughs> and then check this out. So I have all the goods in here. We will go through every item and show you everything that I keep in here. This is the best part, in my opinion. I have labeled everything. And I don't know, you guys, my label maker, I mean, my labels that I buy just stick to fabric. So I don't know, I really push them down good. I don't know if that's what it is and I just kind of like work it in, but I don't do anything really that special to make my labels stay. So if your labels aren't staying, maybe it's your label tape. What I really like is these are all divided and then there's a zipper across the top. There is this little hangy thing. So if you go to the bathroom at your pole, you can hang it up. First thing is just a little bottle of sanitizer, nothing too crazy. Then we have some eye solution. So if somebody gets something in their eye or I wanna take my contact out and I need to swish it around, I have that. Then I have some powder if somebody's irritated or something's going on. I actually like to keep this in here for the beach, for the sand. I keep this in here. Then I have some sunscreen. And you know what? I don't know if you guys can see this, but I have black and gold labels on here. So the background's black and the words are gold. And I just stuck them across the top. So that way people know where things are at. They can just read it if they don't recognize the bottles. Or if you need to replenish, you don't need to remember what was here. It's labeled for you. Because sometimes like the bottle will be empty and somebody will throw it away and you won't remember what goes there. So over here we have eardrops. So if somebody's having some issues with water in their ears, this is that little mini first aid kit I told you about. This one's just from the Dollar Tree, nothing special, but there is a little pair of scissors, Q-tips, and there's some regular bandages in here for regular boo-boos and some medium sized ones, just in case somebody just gets a little minor scrape. That goes in here. Then we have Lysol spray, so you can spray things down. Then we have some off, which I feel like is so important to have. Next up, I have detangle spray. I feel like this is super important for my daughters. They actually get their hair wet. I don't wet my hair. If you color your hair and you're wetting your hair, it's not good. I am a Cosmo. I don't know if you guys know that I'm a cosmetologist, fully licensed, so I can speak on this. Do not get your hair wet if you color it. Sorry. I know that's bad news to some. And then we have a brush. And then I just have some like hair ties and some bobby pins. I put in those little plastic baggies that you guys already know that I love. Next up, we have dry shampoo, because you know I don't wash my hair. I mean, I don't wet my hair, so I use dry shampoo if I start getting greasy. Then we have some mouthwash if you just want to refresh. I like having this. 
especially like if we go to the pool and then we're gonna go to dinner or something after I like having this bag on me and then we have deodorant and I actually had a women's version of this but it ran out and I just stuck this one in here I don't suggest putting a regular deodorant in here because I feel like it'll melt get the spray kind if you can for this bag then I have this this is so beautiful this is the Kaida body luminizer and it is so pretty you guys so if you put this on it just like glistens in the sun it adds a little bit of color I think there's a different color too as well and then I just have this Jergens natural glow lotion this adds a little bit of color to you gradually I don't zip this one because these ones are a little tall so I just leave those like that then on the very bottom here this is more for like after the pool when we need to go into the bathroom and wash up or whatever I have some after sun by Pacifica this stuff is great you guys I just replenish that then I have a bathroom bag I'm gonna share a bathroom bag with you guys that I keep in the car with me and I like to have in our adventure bag but this is just like a mini version so if you're at the pool and there's some sketchy bathrooms you will have this which is amazing let me show you what's in here really quick we just have seat covers I have extra soap just in case they don't have any extra toilet paper just in case they run out we have some feminine products looks like I need to add a couple of tampons in there and then we have BW which stands for booty wipes which is a very weird name for this product but I just like that it's pink and they're cute then in this bottom one here this is for like shower stuff so I have shampoo conditioner and body wash and I have to refill this but just so you guys can see and then we just have some travel size of shampoo and conditioner Next up, I have these three pouches, which I don't know if you can see that it's like a lace print. How cute. So these are more like mesh, but they're better than mesh, if that makes sense. I want to do a video on all of my favorite pouches for traveling and packing and all that stuff. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that because I think it'd be so fun. I would love to sit there and watch somebody's containers and bags because I'm weird like that. But I know you guys get me. That's why you're here. So this is my first aid bag. I forgot to label this one, but you will see on the other ones and I always get questions if my labels stay and they do I don't know why or how but they just do so in this bag here I have gauze pads and a little bit of extra loose gauze then I have some giant band-aids then I have an Israeli bandage you guys know how I feel about my tourniquet this is a tourniquet and my Israeli bandages I feel like these are very important to have by the pool I always have tourniquets and Israeli bandages on me these are for major wounds so if you feel confident that things are gonna go your way <laughs> you won't need to carry these but this is for major bleeding and wounds and this is for life-threatening I have a major artery that is bleeding out and I need to cut it off like I mean if your kid jumps off the high dive and something happens or whatever I just like being prepared I feel like these are total necessities but if you don't then don't pack them okay and then just the last two things is bleed stop and I have some waterproof adhesive tape. This is the smaller kind. I wanted it to be flat, so I just got this one. There are bigger ones, so you can wrap the whole bandage and so it'll be waterproof for you, but I just got this one. And that is all. I do have a smaller first aid kit for like regular cuts and scrapes and stuff like that inside of another bag, which I'll show you in a second. Okay, so next up in this one here, we have all the wipes these are body wipes so if you don't feel fresh or you want to wipe yourself off in the sun you totally can wet ones these are antibacterial these are Clorox wipes if you feel like wiping your chair down which I highly suggest I've been going crazy because I was sick for like three weeks straight and now I'm paranoid so and then just some regular tissue okay so this is how I label it I loop it through I just print it twice without cutting and then I loop it through on this little loop here sorry if it's not focusing but that's all I do so in this one I just have the wet bag so after we're done with the pool and everybody has their swimsuits I like to change personally so I like to bring wet bags I have two large ones here and we can put our towels in these like these are huge you guys look how big these ones are and then I just have this one this one I think was from 31 and then I like to put my own personal swimsuit I like keeping my stuff separate <laughs> and then the last thing in here I like having a wrap I just have basic towels you guys I don't have anything special I think I got ours from Costco 
and they're just like the roll-up kind but I like keeping these on me it's just a beach wrap so you can wear it you can use it as a shawl you can lay on it you can sit on it on a chair whatever you want but I just like having something like this on me I don't know where I got this actually I think I might have got this in Hawaii I'll try to find something similar and link it for you guys next up is this bag here this is that taller bag i really like this and it just stands up by itself it's so nice to do file folders with a bag shape like this it's so much easier the bag is has like an inch at the bottom so it can stand easy i just have this dry oil tanning oil then i just have this can cover i stuck that in there i got it free somewhere and then we have q-tips and floss you guys already know then we just have a bunch of different lip products. This Carmex here, I just got these from Walmart, I think, and they have SPF, which is amazing. So, and then I just have regular Carmex, and then this Hanalei is my favorite from Amazon. I stuck this in here as well. I think I'm gonna take this one out though, because I don't want this to melt, but these are in tubes, so I think these will be fine. Then I just have a few little tools in here. It has a clip sewing kit a rubber band safety pins nothing too crazy but just a little extras here i already have my purse on me if you guys haven't seen that video i did what's in my purse i will link that for you up above and down below but that will show you i have already everything you could possibly think of this is all just extra and sometimes i have doubles in extra kits as redundancy so i never forget something because that's how i like to roll and then in my last video, I do my refills. So if you guys missed that one, I will link that one down below and up above as well for you. Then we have drink mixes. I like having drink mixes on me. I like also bringing electrolyte mix for the kids when they're out and they're just running around sweating and it's hot. But I have greens in here. I love having greens on me. I do not like to forget to take my greens every day. I just have matcha and then some true lime lemonade powders. I got this koozie. I just got this free from somewhere when we were traveling and I stuck it in here. Then I have some rose water spray. Rose actually has a super high frequency. So if you want to change your energies or you just want to cool off and spray yourself, rose water is amazing. This one is a really good brand for rose water. This is Bombshell by Victoria's Secret. I actually just heard that the perfume, I don't know if the body spray does it, but I heard the perfume, you can actually use it as bug spray. This girl sprayed her whole entire body, except for her feet, and her feet got so bit up and nothing else did. So I am so curious if this will work also, but if it does, I will be buying this by like the case. Last thing in this bag is just a couple more wipes. I could totally stick this in the wipes bag. I might just do that just because it might be a little more accessible. I just realized I had repeats, but I it's fine. I'm gonna probably take these out and just stick the Tide Sticks in here. That way I have a little bit more room inside of my bag. This is the wipes one. So I think I'm gonna just take this and I'm gonna stick these in there like that. So those will go in there. Okay, these are the last final items I wanna show you guys. I have this clip-on cup holder, which I absolutely love. This is for the stroller, but you can clip it on other things, which I really like. So I just bring it with me. If it doesn't work out, I'll leave it in the car. If there's nowhere to clip it onto, and then I have a fan, which I love having a fan on me. Then of course, gotta have your clip. Look how pretty this one is. I got this one off of Amazon in a set. I will link that for you guys. And then I have these two flamingo clips for your towel, which I think are so cute. But I always keep snacks on me. This little bag is from 31. They have some new prints in that I just ordered, which I'm super excited about. But I just have a little bit of almonds in here and that's it. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed what was inside my pool bag. If you've made it all the way to the end, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you. Leave me some type of like waves or water emoji and let me know that you've made it all the way to the end. When you do that, it really benefits my channel and I so appreciate it. Like I said, don't forget to sign up for my newsletter so you guys can know what videos are coming out and you guys will get a VIP access to all of the info that nobody else has. Thank you guys again so much for watching and until next time, I'm your Girl Wonder Marie. Bye.